Mineral water and sparkling water are both types of water with specific minerals and distinct subtle flavors. People are always asking what the difference is between mineral water and sparkling water, and when one might opt to choose one over the other. So, in this video we will compare mineral water and sparkling water, so you can make the best choice for your taste buds. Now let's start the video. Natural mineral water often replicates the concentration of minerals the water contains before being removed from its original spring. To be considered mineral water, the water must contain at least 250 dissolved minerals per 1 million units of water. The minerals also must be identical to the ones found in the original spring the water came from. Mineral water is a great substitute for tap water. Whether you simply don't like tap water's taste, or if your water source has become temporarily contaminated, it is often used as a substitute for sparkling water for drinking and in recipes, and you can also find non-carbonated mineral water that can be used to make different kinds of beverages. Sparkling water, also known as seltzer, soda, or tonic water, is infused with carbon dioxide to create tons of bubbles and fizziness, at least as much carbonation as the water contained when it came from its natural spring. That being said, any minerals originally present in the water are often removed during processing. Sparkling water is often used as a healthy substitute for sugary sodas and other beverages because it is lower in calories than sugar and can be naturally flavored with healthier sweeteners and fruit flavoring. Sparkling water is also often used in cocktails and other drinks to create a fizzy sensation on your tongue. Many people report that mineral water and sparkling water taste very different from one another. This is due to the mineral content of each type of water and can even vary among brands of the same type of sparkling mineral water, depending on where the water was sourced. Sparkling mineral water, for example, is naturally carbonated, so the bubbles you see are from the spring it came from. It also contains a variety of minerals, including sodium, magnesium, and calcium, that influences its flavor. You won't find these minerals in regular sparkling water. Regular sparkling water contains very few nutrients and has a taste that is closer to that of flat water. If you choose mineral sparkling water over the regular sparkling water, you may also find a difference in the price you pay upon purchasing. Mineral water typically costs more than regular sparkling water, so choosing between the two will come down to your taste preferences as well as how much you are willing to spend. Mineral water is a great source of magnesium and can help lower blood pressure, regulate blood circulation, strengthen your bones, and promote digestive health. Recent studies have shown that mineral water definitely has its own set of health benefits and can help you stay hydrated and healthy. Sparkling water is also a great source of hydration. It has also been found to help aid digestion, keep you feeling full for longer, and can even help to increase your productivity levels by pumping your body with a hydrating liquid that isn't heavy on sugar, which can lead to a tired and sluggish feeling. Mineral water and sparkling water are both healthy alternatives to sugary sodas. The former can provide us with minerals that the body can't create on its own, while the latter turns healthy hydration into a fun fiesta for your taste buds, so you can quit drinking sugary sodas and lead a lower calorie, healthier lifestyle. With a soda stream, you can make your own carbonated water at home and add whatever flavor you choose to make the transition to healthy hydration that much easier. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.